Okay, so here is a quick, quick, quick lesson. It's not going to be long, it's not going to be hard. It's probably one of the easiest things we've done in this class. We're going to do a quick um, lesson on sigma notation, or in other words, summation. Now with this, hopefully you've seen this before, and you probably have, hopefully you have. If you haven't, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and go through it and everything, and make sure you understand what's going on. So sigma notation and summation. Sigma notation and summation. So here's a vocabulary word, summation, and it just means adding a list of numbers. That's it. We're not doing anything extra. We're not going to get so bogged down and creative and weird. Summation is just adding numbers up, adding numbers together to find an answer. So summation is adding a list of numbers. Now with summation, We have a symbol here that's important that you have to know what it is because it comes up all the time. And some of you have seen this sign before when it came to like the Greeks, um, if you want to kind of go out to college and pledge and or something of that sort. This is a Greek symbol for some of the fraternities and sororities and all that great stuff. So this one is called Sigma. Uh -huh. there Sigma. Sigma notation. Now with this sigma notation, if you want to draw it, like turn your paper and do a sideways M, that's fine. Or you can do it a sideways E, whichever. It's up to you. Now with sigma notation, there are certain parts that go on, on it. So with it, I'm going to go ahead and do that part. Okay. So here, sigma notation. There's always something on top of the sigma notation and always something on the bottom. Always. Every single time this happens. So every time this is going to be there. It might change the letter, it might change the numbers and other stuff, but what's going to happen is we're going to have a list of numbers that are here and we're going to always start with this bottom number. I was going to start with this bottom number. And we're going to end with the top number. So we're going to finish our end. Some of you are like, that makes no sense whatsoever. I don't get what's going on there. It's just stupid. Math is not always stupid, so just know when it comes to these, we start with the bottom one and we end with the top one. Now I'm gonna give you an example in a few seconds of what I'm talking about. And that's a few seconds is right now. So let's take a look at any just a for example type thing. So it's not example one or anything of that sort. I just want to show you something. So let's say we have i equals one here and it's a five on top. So with this, we said we start with the bottom number and we end, we end on the top number. So we start with one, then we go to two, then we go to three, then we go to four, then we go to five. We start with the bottom number and we end it with the top number. So again, you start with the bottom number and you end with the top number. That hard. Right, and the other part, I want to make sure because this is going to be another thing you'll see. something like this. And then let me put like a function right here. But this right here is considered our function. 
And that's where we put our numbers into. And that's all of our preliminary information. That's all the beginning of this of, um, sigma notation. And the rest of the stuff is going to be so easy, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I wish we did this all year long. But you'll see in a few seconds.